we are on our way to go eat at Louisiana Purchase Kitchen. I'm so excited. I've Yay. never been to a, um, what you call that? A Cajun, Cajun buffet. buffet. This will be my first one and probably Ryan, Brian's first one too. And sad to say, <laughs> it's a very embarrassing truth. I live in Louisiana for almost 35 years and never walk into this Louisiana Purchase Kitchen and found out that this is a place to go eat for a Cajun buffet and you can try all kinds of Cajun food from a person who doesn't even live in Louisiana. <laughs> But anyway, we're on our way to go there and we're going to try it out and see how it tastes. See if it's even worth it because I think the prices were like very reasonable. More than reasonable, right honey? It was like 12 something and thirteen seventy-five on a Friday and Saturday lunch. So, can't beat the price for all the food you're going to get there. So, let's go and see. Let's try out this place. You ready? The salad. Got looks like gumbo and a bisque, yeah, shrimp and corn bisque, yeah, red beans and rice. What's this one? Chicken etouffee and shrimp etouffee, crab balls. We got southern baked fish, oh. fried fish, which is not there yet, but. Mm. This is seafood lasagna. I got fried chicken. This is pasta, barbecue shrimp. And this is Biendo dressing. Ooh, jambalaya. I guess that's empty. That's Cajun baked chicken and some of the vegetables. Corn, beans. Cabbage, carrot souffle, and cornbread, mm. chocolate pudding, and I guess that's the regular bread pudding. With rum sauce. Mm. What I got? I'm gonna try the gumbo and the bisque. Look, Look at the bisque. Steak, honey. It's good. Mm. Did you try the bisque? You have the best? It's okay. It's a little salty though for me. Now, of course, you always think everything is salty. <laughs> but it's good. I don't particularly like the taste of it. I don't know. I guess it's good for me. Yeah. It's just a little salty. It does have a lot of crab meat though, for sure. I could taste the crab meat. I'm gonna try the gumbo. Let me rinse my, my mm -hmm. mouth. Let me rinse my mouth because of all the salt in it. Mm. Oh, this is chicken gumbo. Not bad, the gumbo. Look, big chunk of chicken. Mm -hmm. Big chunk of chicken. <laughs> Did you try the potato salad? Not yet. It tastes good, but it has like a, I think a lot of dill or something. It's dilly. Love my piece. Mm. 
Take a piece, then. I'll get some fish. Oh. Okay, got chicken. They're all thigh. Oh wait, I got wings. I see a wing. Oh, the thing is, they don't have French fries. It's supposed to be really good. I don't know. It looks mushy to me, but like overcooked. But we'll try it. We'll try some jambalaya too. Mm. It's a jambalaya. It's been here a long time, this place. Just never been here. I guess a jambalaya. I don't know. It must be us, honey. It must be us. What do you mean? It just kind of felt like everything is salty. Well, it must be you, because I don't really find that much salt in it. The jambalaya is for me. Yeah. But, um, no, I don't eat a lot of salt, so maybe that's why it's salty for me. Yeah. You don't eat a lot of salt either. No, I don't. All right, fried fish. They, they can't even serve catfish, but that's good. Fried fish is good, not salty. <laughs> I guess that's all it is, fried fish. I thought they would have oyster, but I guess they don't. Oh, the chicken is good, huh? Yeah, My third plate. So I have barbecue shrimp. I think that's seafood uh, lasagna. And I have some shrimp etouffee. And this is chicken creole. No, it's backwards. Shrimp creole and chicken etouffee with a little rice. So we gotta try everything. Shrimp. Yeah. Oh, this is not bad. It's okay. This is chicken creole. Let's see. Barbecue shrimp is better. Not as salty. It's, what? it's good. It's not salty. I guess I could just eat the barbecue shrimp and the fish here. Mm. It's not bad. Shrimp. The shrimp is a little hard to peel. <laughs> Well, you think that's overcooked when you like the peel shrimp? No. Mm -hmm. I think maybe... I don't know. 
is plate number four. Oh, I got catfish. Carrots are plate and uh, cornbread. And my dessert. Bread pudding with rum sauce. I got uh, Thank you. And chocolate pudding. I think we paid thirteen seventy five for lunch here on a Friday, which is not bad for all the variety of food you're gonna get. I've tried almost everything except for all the vegetable. I think I love the fish the best, although it's not catfish, it's just fried fish, so you know it's not it's an imported fish, so that's one negative. And I think the uh, barbecue shrimp is another good one. So, now this is um, carrot souffle. It's supposed to be sweet, so let's try this one. That was good. Carrot souffle is a win. Had a ginger, I think ginger and cinnamon. Mm. Cornbread. Is that cornbread? It's a little dry. Hmm? No, it doesn't taste like cornbread. It's like uh, eggy. I don't know what, but I guess it's okay. Not the regular cornbread. Mm, it's kind of eggy or dry. I don't know. Yeah. Here we go with rum sauce. How do you like the bread pudding? Okay. It's okay. That's all you say. It's okay. I think the bread pudding is good. Mm. Yeah, I think the bread pudding is a win. Mm -hmm. I should not eat all this sugar. This is the chocolate. Pudding. This is not bad. Cook is okay. Not my favorite one, but. Mm. Alright, so now we are back home and uh, that experience over at Louisiana Purchase Kitchen isn't that bad. Although in summary, it's good for the price, but like I said, for me it's salty, but not for maybe another person. It's just that I don't eat that much salt. Um, I think the best of all the food there that I would highly recommend is their fried chicken, their barbecue shrimp, their carrot souffle, and of course the dessert. Definitely the pudding, the bread pudding with rum sauce, and I like also their uh, chocolate pudding. And, um, you know, all the others like the gumbo and the bisque. It's good, it's tasty, don't get me wrong, but it just, for me, it's a little bit tant salty. And of course, now that I'm home and I already eaten like maybe what, an hour and a half earlier ago, I could feel the, I'm not sure what it is, but there's something like my mouth was so dry and thirsty. And this is every time I eat in a Chinese restaurant, which is a lot of MSG, as you all know. So maybe that place has a lot of MSG too. I don't know, but for the price of $14 for lunch on Friday and Saturday, that's not bad at all. So if you are a tourist or something that would like to try all the different Louisiana Southern cuisine, that's the place to go. Just eat a little bit of everything just to try which one you like. But definitely, I forgot the fried fish too is one of my favorite. So anyhow, if you all like this video, please like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up. And hopefully, you know, I could get more video out in the next few weeks. 
See you then. Bye. I'm so embarrassed that I even wear this Chicago t-shirt to go eat in that freaking restaurant. <laughs> I don't believe that.